Good morning, another beautiful day in God's kingdom. We just have a few days to go to the end of this beautiful year that we have all experienced. And I'm sure every one of us has, you know, different perspectives to how the year has been. But as we prepare to go into the next year, you want to begin to, um, you know, address certain things concerning the future and we're going to take a look at the scripture today as we'll be doing in the next few days and we're going to take a look at the book of joshua and in joshua chapter uh three we find here that joshua had the same situation sort of you know they were about to move from what they had known into the unknown and the bible says here in joshua chapter three and let's read from verse um Let's read from verse 1. It says, Early the next morning, Joshua and all the Israelites left Acacia Grove and arrived at the banks of the Jordan River, where they camped before crossing. And three days later, the Israelites' officers went through the camp, giving these instructions to the people. And they said to them, When you see the Levit Levitical priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, move out from your positions and follow them. Since you have never traveled this way before, they will guide you. Stay about half a mile behind them, keeping a clear distance between you and the ark. Make sure you don't come any closer. You know, there were certain things that Joshua had to do himself. And there were certain things that the people had to do. There were certain things that the ministers, you know, the priests had to do as well. You know, everybody had a position, had a, um, had a role to play in this very, very important thing. Just as it is right now, as we prepare to cross over, as we prepare to move into the next year. You know, somebody might say, oh, I mean, what, what does it mean to cross over? I mean, what's, what's the big deal about moving from one year into the other? After all, you're just going to go um, fall asleep and wake up and it's the next year. You know, and I always say that, you know what, there's a reason why God allows us to have times and seasons. When God was creating the earth um, and everything that we know about the earth, he created time and he created seasons. He created the sun and the moon to differentiate between day and night. And he created us as human beings to have a, a clock. You know, even our bodies have a clock, you know, that that moves. And it's you're always it's always wise of you to take heed to the to the rhythms of your body, to the, the seasons of your life. These are important things that God has instituted. So as we prepare in the next three days to cross over into the year 2022, I want to encourage you, you know, lay hold on the word of God. What do I mean by that? Pick up the scriptures, pick up the Bible, read the Bible, pray, you know, seek people, uh, seek the, the, the company of people who are praying regarding the, the rest of this year, the last few days of this year and the year ahead. Because there are things that God is going to say to you that will be specific for you, for your family, things that you will need to have an understanding of regarding the future, regarding the days ahead. And I pray that as you do that, and even as we, you know, proceed in that manner as well here, that you will be blessed and you will receive a word that will, um, that will give you encouragement and give you that sense of hope and anticipation of what God will do for you and your family in the year ahead. In the name of Jesus, God bless you, God keep you, God preserve you into the year 2022. Have a beautiful day.